<laughs> Hello, welcome to Country Stitches. I'm Liz. Hello, I'm Deb. Or at least this is three quarters of Liz. Yeah, yeah. Come <laughs> in. We're staging a little differently today because um, we have a couple of different things that we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. But it's been a while and we've been busy and we've been having a lot of fun too. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. almost warm weather. Well, uh -huh. we had a couple of really hot days. Oh my gosh, yeah, it turned into summer. Overnight. Yeah, yeah. And now it's back to 60. <laughs> so. We're going to have a 90 degree day again. Tomorrow this week. it'll be 90 again. Yeah. Yeah, it went 90, 60, 90. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Crazy. And it's just a little over two weeks till the wedding. So everything is in full swing, wedding mode, nothing but wedding. Yep. So it's lots and lots of fun. Thank you so much for everybody asking and um, for cards. And just McKenna is just very grateful that she's thought of. Thank you so much. Um, we did have time to go out to lunch together we did last week yep and Deb introduced me to something that gave me more caffeine in my system <laughs> for the course of the day than I've ever had <laughs> what was that called a nefera gotta go to go to get a ice no cream? but I like that name <laughs> <laughs> what's it called it's called an affogato affogato yeah so it's um ice cream and soft then ice you, cream, I might well, it doesn't have to case. be in this case it was soft yep. serve vanilla ice cream and then you pour a shot of espresso over top I it is so good. At first, I thought, eh. <laughs> I do like mocha ice cream, coffee ice cream. But when she brought it back to the table and I'm watching it mix and mm -hmm. I'm watching her eat it and it's like, do you want to try it? I said, yes. And then I start digging for my wallet. She goes, you want one? I said, yes. It was it's delicious. So it was. Yeah. We yeah. did not expect to find them at this restaurant either. The restaurant we were at was an Amish restaurant. It's mm -hmm. kind of a cafe cute cafe. slash yeah. coffee shop yeah um it's really it it's is pretty kind cool. of comical yeah. uh the yeah. combination of everything there is, uh -huh. is really fun yeah and um and then they add the soft ice cream to their <laughs> it's like oh i'm done now <laughs> stick a so fork good. in me yeah. it's over yeah but oh my gosh yes we've we've had a ball um lots of you are, are asking questions about her dress um yep everything's good to go it's fitted it's beautiful um she is wearing my veil that I wore in my wedding because she just wanted a simple long veil that was like as long as her train and that's exactly what I wore. So she's wearing that. She's using my um, ring bear pillow that we used in our wedding. And she's wearing the earrings that I wore in my wedding. Because, oh really? Because they're from Pop Up. Okay. Yeah, my dad got them for me for the wedding and so she wants to wear those. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, we're getting all kinds of things done. We went through the, finalized so much yesterday um yeah that was so, a long list when she told yeah, me about she everything she had her bridal done. getaway weekend last weekend um they had a ball they had a great time you don't just go and like go out one night anymore now they make like a full weekend out of it wow. you know for like the um for the for, stag for the, do and the hen do yeah 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 <laughs> yeah but they have fun they they um rented a um a house in strasburg like an airbnb uh -huh. and um they ended up going to see the show Queen Esther at Sight and Sound and had dinner. And then the next day they drove to Longwood Gardens okay. and spent the day there. Nice. And then went to dinner. So they had a great time. They, yeah. they had a really good time. Lots of fun. So things have been very busy. And that's why I haven't gotten any, well, a little bit of stitching. A little, yeah. little bit of stitching in. That'll um, make me feel like I was accomplished this week. Because <laughs> yeah, I didn't get much done either. <laughs> she looks at me and goes, do you have any finishes? <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> I finished my dinner last week. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, uh, so thanks want, for joining us. Yes, and I wanted to say thank you um, <laughs> to everybody who asked about Ivan. Oh, yeah. And the uh, um, ideas and suggestions and things to think about. Um, we did get him back to the vets a little over two weeks ago now, I think, right after our last video. And they prescribed a, an antibiotic, which several of you mentioned and also the probiotics for him and he's doing well we're just about to almost all kibble now and there's no sign of any kind of belly distress yeah. um and i'm hoping we can transfer back to a senior dog food and off of the veterinary medicine or veterinarian diet soon um it's four dollars a pound yeah it's expensive <laughs> yeah. yeah fortunately he doesn't eat a pound a day <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. It, I'm so it's glad tolerable. Better. Yes. Yeah. Anything is tolerable when your dog feels good. Definitely. That's sure. Yeah. That's right. Um, I also wanted to just say um, a quick hello and thank you to all the 
uh, shoppers that came into Stitches Unlimited that said hi to us. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. I'm just going to read off a batch of names from all the people that I tried to remember meeting. And if I didn't get your name off, I'll, I'll certainly mention it again another time. But Aww. we saw Judy and Jenny and Steve and Cliff and Debbie and Deb and Robin and Carol and <laughs> probably many more. But thanks for um, taking the time to say hi and letting us know that you watch our channel. Yes, thank you. And um, we have some new things to show you. Mm -hmm. um, I also spent a couple days on the craft room. And my project last week was to go through my fabric, which I texted Deb and I sent her a picture of what the living room looked like. <laughs> she said, oh my gosh, did your cabinets come in yet? I said, no, this is just the fun of playing with it. So um, stay tuned for the stash box because we're going to share a little bit of what I went through yes. and the fabric I had. That'll mm -hmm. be fun. Um, let's see. I, I think that's about all the chit chat I had um, between then and now. But we're... <laughs> We're often telling you that we like to research things and look at products that we think you might have interest in. Mm -hmm. And we were contacted by a lighting company uh, that manufactures a light called Stella. Mm -hmm. And um, we have those to show you and talk a little bit about those today. Um, we're gonna do that right at the outset. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, I have the white Stella 2 light and Liz has the black Stella 2 light. Um, we have been playing with these for a little while now and they are wonderful. The Stella 2 has 10 settings, 10 light yes. settings, and you can go back and forth between the warm yellow light or the blue light or a combination of the blue and the yellow. They actually call those- And I love it. Yeah, I was looking on their um, information. They have these three settings all have to do with how our own eyes deal with light spectrums. Mm -hmm. and. They yeah. actually started their light for their daughter, Stella, mm -hmm. who um, was a surprise baby. That's why they named her, it's uh, <laughs> Latin for star. Um, it's, a, it's a lovely little story, but it, he found out he was expecting Stella, they did in their family, at the mm -hmm. same time he'd lost his job mm -hmm. and was unemployed. He had been in the lighting industry, so he reconnected um, with the lighting industry through his own manufacturing over time, but it all just kind of came yeah, together. Yeah. And, um, and what I found out was this was originally designed for children, mm -hmm. um, because he used his daughter as a, as a case study, if you will. Right. And it never even occurred to me that those different places on the light spectrum are important for what your eye health is as well. Mm -hmm. um, people who have difficulty with macular degeneration and things mm -hmm. need a different level of the spectrum yeah. than people yeah. like you and I doing yeah. really detailed things. We want a higher mm -hmm. level in the spectrum. Right, right. I had no idea. Yeah, and that's why I love that you can get so many choices mm -hmm. from this light. They have the original Stella, and that gives you, I think, about five different step uh, dimming capabilities, but this is the Stella 2, T-W-O. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so they graciously um, are offering a discount to our um, Country Stitchers uh, subscribers. If you're watching today and you are interested in a Stella 2 light, Liz is gonna leave all the information in our description box. Yes. But if you use the um, code country and the number 50, you will get $50 off of a Stella 2. And they... um, that, yeah, that runs from today, the mm -hmm. 25th, as long as this video posts today, <laughs> to the 31st. And the the other points about these lights that I found fascinating were it's a $10 flat shipping fee. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you're in the contiguous United States, mm -hmm. that's the highest you're gonna pay for your shipping. Yep. Um, their customer service is 24, uh, five. It's Monday through Friday, 24 <laughs> hours a day. And then they have a 30 day, 100% guarantee. Mm -hmm. Um, and then a two-year warranty. Yeah, and it also comes in a box with a handle. Yes. So if you keep your box, it's a great way to package it up again. And if you're in a guild or an EGA and you want to go for a class or something, you know, if you're taking a class, yep. you could stick it right back in this box to travel with and to go to class. I think that's great. It is. Um, I love to have mine next to my sewing machine. Um, I know Liz keeps hers out here with her where she's stitching, but Mine has a permanent home next to the sewing machine. Mm -hmm. uh, however, when you check out their website, which again will be listed in the Dropbox, 
They have a few other lights also. If you're yes. interested in a floor light, they have a beautiful, it's called a Stella Sky 2 um, floor light. Adjustable, it has a remote control, all the different settings. They're very, very nice. So check them out. They also have one called the Edge, Stella Edge, which you can actually clamp to the side of your table or your workstation, wherever. So we have really enjoyed working with ours. That's for sure. And the task lamp that they have, the, the Stella Task, I think has five settings, three or five. The, okay. And, um, and it's, the it's in the one. same shape, um, but it's made for things that aren't quite so detailed. It doesn't have the same number of lumens. It's not quite as strong. But the one thing that I wanted to show you that I like about this too, is you can rotate this light anywhere mm -hmm. you want it. <laughs> oh, um, give me some. Yeah, it is. It's really neat. Yeah. Um, and of course, it'll go up. It'll mm -hmm. come down. Yeah. Uh, so it's a nice neck on that it light. Is. Yeah. I do like the sleek mm -hmm. look to it. Yeah. But yeah, we, we are very happy with this. So we want to say a huge thank you to Stella. Um, and again, if you're interested, um, it will run until the 31st of this month, May 31st. So if you're interested, check them out and uh, use the, uh, the code country 50. Yes. And it's innovative and mm -hmm. um and exceptional yep and something that might just help with any of your stitching or quilting or anything like that that you do so all right wonderful now it has to go back by my machine. <laughs> <laughs> although my craft room is filled with wedding stuff right now i oh, can't even get in and do any finishing i'm surprised anything. you have any floor space left in i your don't house. have a lot left no it's so funny mckenna and i were just in there packing up all kinds of bags for the um the bridal shower you mm -hmm. know like or not shower the bridal party mm -hmm. so we got all their gifts ready to go so it's like something exploded <laughs> yeah there. well and then you have everything that came from the bridal <laughs> shower that's, well, that's tucked away that's all up in our loft yeah all their gifts are up there which works out perfect yeah that's great but i mean it's still it's space that oh yeah you have real estate to put it in i mean there's a lot going on yeah 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 yep. that's nuts yep um speaking of a lot going on yeah <laughs> I might have been doing the shopping. What? I know. Oh, we did get um, a couple of pretty little um, Oh, yes. Bags. Yes. I really like this one. <laughs> and thank, thank you very you. much. Oh, thank you um, so much. Love it. We oh. also, <laughs> this is very sensitive, like, <laughs> we also have. You did your button. <laughs> um, yes, I did. Um, a needle book, which I have misplaced mine right now, but. Um, we'll save that for a treat for next video and yes. show you that. Thank you so much for um, your gifts, your yes. cards, your thoughts, your prayers, your everything. <laughs> so thank you so much for all your blessings. Um, oh, I got something in the mail. Yes. This was from Snarky Crafter Designs. Oh, that's a cute name. Yeah, isn't that cute? <laughs> I found this, um, I think I was maybe Etsy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, no, guess not. Let's see. Just on the internet, I guess. Okay. Pinterest. I can't remember where I actually saw it initially. I was having one of those days where I really wasn't doing anything much except playing with my computer. <laughs> you have to look cute. at them. I, I also oh, that's was cute. running short on uh, floss oh. uh, boards. <laughs> it says, my life may be falling apart, but at least my floss is organized. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> I got you one. Aww. I got me one. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. And they're cute. Yeah. So, I mean, everybody Aww. comes up with their own way to do these things. Yeah. I thought that one was cute. We can list them in the Dropbox also. That's awesome. And then, wow. At the oh, that's so cute. Stitches Unlimited. Um, somebody had asked me. Mm -mm, it's been a while yet. They had seen my bunny. Oh yeah. Floss tags. I only bought one of the bunnies. Now I have two. <laughs> um, they multiply. They do. They do. Yes. And <laughs> so, watch those things. <laughs> I'm going to put them in separate drawers. <laughs> um, and access <laughs> commodities. They make both kinds. These are called Hop Hop Thread Drops. Aww. And the other cute. ones are just called Thread Drops. So <laughs> I added some more Hop Hops to mine. And then um, I had shown one of these lady powders. Oh, I love her. Um, I think I showed it to Deb, but yep. I'm not sure I shared it with you yet. Mm -mm. I this don't is think by we did. Little House Needleworks. It's oh gosh. adorable. I There's, love it. I think three in the series. Isn't she beautiful? 
Aww. And I have one more. I just don't have it out. Um, but they're they're fun and they're not large. Oh, she's so, so you could cute. do them so many ways. You could do them and have them be stand ups. You could stitch them. You could stitch them onto something else. You could yeah. add motifs yeah. to it. Yeah, I love it. And I had not seen that before she showed it to me. It's adorable. That was showing me those and I fell in love with them. <laughs> then I picked up another hardwood coop. This is also Access Commodities from Canada. Mm -hmm. um, and I wrapped the, the inside hoop with the twill tape. And I just was going to show you quickly. They, they stamp the hoop with a number mm -hmm. and it goes across both hoops when they do it because there's only one Correct. Best fitting <laughs> uh, position for the inside hoop in the wooden frame. And so you just match them up. So what I do is I put a little stitch with thread mm -hmm. on my little twill tape. Mm -hmm. And then I lined it up with the numbers. And mm -hmm. I know I have it in the right way. But anyway. And I sew. I know. I'm terrible. I stitch mine onto here um, when I'm done. I sew it down so it doesn't unravel. And I don't glue it. Oh, okay. At yeah. the end. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not that compulsive. I don't stitch it. Oh, As I put it on, <laughs> I think I have stitching friends that would divorce me if I did that. That's cool. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. I, just, I picked up that size. I basically because I'm not going to be able to use a floor stand probably in the short term much, and I'm thinking um, that this would be nicer to do a sampler with because I can just run it down a higher space. I like my size of that. Yeah. Space. Yeah. Good. And it's nice because you can either hold it. Um, either horizontal or vertically. Yeah. So I yeah. like that size. Yeah. I did get, oh, here she is. Oh, I knew I had this. She just showed up. Yeah, she's so she's cute. She's a little late for the party. Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry. Little that's, house needleworks. That's the other one I picked up. Little bird cage. Yeah, she's so cute. Now I have to go on a mission to find the little charms. But I think Oh, but I'm, you could do anything now. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Of which, yeah, I probably should just look in the bin. Yeah. Of charms. Oh. So cute. And then I had a mix up with my punch needle primitive stitcher magazine this year and on my spring issue. And that mm -hmm. just came in last week. So, yep. um, people had asked you yeah, about we, this magazine, right? right? Yeah. We had a comment and they were wondering where they could find this, your local needle workshops. Mm -hmm. And also you can subscribe. You go online mm -hmm. to punch needle and primitive stitcher and they have a very simple, uh, website that you can follow and subscribe. Mm -hmm. You can subscribe to it um, and also to the digital library. Right. I think you can do it either way. Um, but if you subscribe to the printed version, you automatically have access mm -hmm. to the digital library. Yeah. So yeah. it's a nice, nice magazine. Yeah, they're wonderful. The summer one is coming out soon, so I'm anxious to see that. Mm -hmm. Got my next um, needle arts oh, from okay. the Embroiderers Guild. Yeah. And the exciting thing, guess where they're doing the 2022? Oh, I'm going to forget now, but I think it's New York City. Really? I think so. Um, huh. I'll double check. But I thought this was cute. Oh, that is cute. They actually did it. An and it's an embroidered strawberry. Yeah, So it's a little pretty. different than our cross-stitch ones. I thought that was really well it's done. Very pretty. Yeah. You're not going to mistake who it's for. Very cool. Yeah. They gave you the pattern and everything in the issue. Look at those bullions. Woo! I know. <laughs> if you didn't know how to do them before you started, you will. You can be a pro when you're finished. Yes, you yeah. are. Yeah. Um, oh, my goodness. Uh, we had a comment from Barbara D. Lee Ree. I hope I said that correctly this time. <laughs> um, you were the one asking about the chart holder. I thought you were talking about the one from Fat Quarter Shop. You were not. I didn't realize Liz had this on something and you saw this. It clips onto your project and holds your chart. Um, Liz, <laughs> where did you find yours? I actually bought that at Salty Yarns. I got you okay. one and me one. Okay. And then I found out that you can buy them. This little piece here might be a little shorter, but if you go to Staples, you can get 10 of them in a package. Of um, what? These? these yes. Guys? Oh, really? The clip on little sign holders. For, for like stores, when they oh, put those on and hold yes. prices. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, okay. So if you, um, okay, I will see if I can find the link. And hmm. if I can, I'll put it in the description box from where I had that information in before. Okay. Um, because it was, what you doing? I was looking just to see, they had a big page about where that, um, 
was being held, but I've not run across it. Oh, here it is. No, that's this year is in Chicago. I'm pretty sure. Well, we got a year to figure yeah. out. It's coming up. It's going to be a fun place, though. And I thought about it and I thought, ooh, maybe we put that in our list of things we might do. <laughs> um, oh, and then I also, I have looked at these I boxes. These boxes so are from um, Teresa Miller's Primitive Stitches. Oh, yeah. And then Donna paints them. Oh, cool. So, um, nice job, Donna. Don't you do a nice one? Yeah. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm putting on this one, but I have looked at all the different ones she brought in, and I fell in love Very with that cool. one. Very cool. And it slides open. That is my color, Donna. <laughs> love it. <laughs> I shop for some other things. Awesome. While I was at it. I got the pins that go in the Prancer Cube. Remember the hands-on design? Oh, so it's yes. Aren't those cute? That's so cute. So that's just another Button Company's pins Aww. that go with that. And then I had not seen this color before. Michael's Navy. Have oh, you seen no. that? No, but it's very pretty. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that Doesn't is that very look like pretty. a nice 4th of July yes. blue? Very. So I can't remember oh, gosh, yeah. hand what I'm working on right now, but um, I'm going to make sure very I have pretty. this. That's yours. Yeah. <laughs> I got two of them. I love when you show up. I know you do. That is a beautiful blue. It is. Oh. I really like it. Is it. Did you say it's new? Or you uh, just hadn't seen it? New to me. It. I okay. had never seen it. Okay. I don't know yeah, how new pretty. it is. I could probably wow. look that up. But. Very nice. <laughs> I didn't. Pretty. Oh, it looks nice with my bag. <laughs> it it's my, my cow right bag. In, it? <laughs> I hadn't bought anything except we went to an auction. What was that? Saturday? Saturday. Yeah. There was a farm fur um, auction that Matt was interested in. And we went there. And when we had gone a few weeks before that to um, go through the open house, mm -hmm. I was able to see some of the things that were going to be auctioned off. And there were two things I really, really got my eye on. One was this tapestry. Um, and then another one was a scale. I know you're shocked. <laughs> I need another scale. But I ended up getting both of them. I couldn't believe it. It was just fantastic. But I want to show you the tapestry. This it was is beautiful. It was hand um, woven. And it was done in 1834 by a lady named Ann Landis. And she's from our Lampeter area. Um, and I have it leaning up against a fence in this picture. The colors are gorgeous. It is so pretty. So I want to take it to get it framed. Liz and I are going to stop by Mike's and drop it off and get it put into a really pretty frame. And um, what are the actual dimensions? It looks like a couple feet wide. Yeah, okay. it's it's big. I didn't measure it exactly, but I mean, it's it's okay. a good size. Okay. Yeah, it's a good size. Wouldn't so, that be even oh, just a gorgeous cross stitch pattern yeah. when you held that up what went through my yeah. mind immediately was the linens and threads uh stitch along the oh lead. yes didn't that remind yes. you of that yeah the definitely. one that you were doing the inset yeah i'll have plate. to show you my scale too that is that this is by far my favorite scale that's it really got a lot of character it is it's so cool and it is solid copper it has a porcelain plate all the glass, everything is perfect. And look at the seal on it, City of Lancaster. Oh, wow. Pennsylvania. And it says Weights and Measurement Department. Isn't that cool? Wow. I love it. It's like my favorite scale ever. And I couldn't believe it because there was only one other person that tried to bid against me. And tried. Then tried. <laughs> yeah. Every time, learn. I know. <laughs> Every time someone bids against me, I'm like, seriously? <laughs> Do you not know how bad I want this? <laughs> So anyway, that was that was awesome. Even the auctioneer came over late and goes, "Good job." <laughs> I'm like, yes. Um, but it was really neat. I got to talk to the lady at the farm. Um, it was a family farm, and it had been in their family for many, many, many years. And she just, you know, was at that point in her life. Her husband had passed away recently, and she needed to let go of the farm. And I got to speak to her, you know, about about the tapestry, and she just was all excited and. She hooks for a living and okay. also weaves. She has a loom and she has her own sheep and spins her own wow. wool. I mean, she just was such a really, really awesome, awesome lady. So that was pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So that was fun. Hot day though. Oh my gosh. Oh, it that was, was hot that awful. day. Awful. Big time. Whew. Terrible. Mm. So let's okay. see. Um, yes. What did you, you said you did some stitching. Oh, yes. Excuse me, Stella. <laughs> Pardon me. Do you more. mind? Um, what can I help you can with? Can you grab this? Hold the light. Or, yep, that's fine. Perfect. Thank you. And then you can set that back down. I'll All right. 
move this. Um, in my Coming to America box, my goodie box, I worked a little bit more on um, the women of the Mayflower. And this is on 56 count. I forgot my white paper. Liz, do you happen to have a... Oh, never mind. I can use the back of this. Um, oh, did our slideshow go away? It did. Aww. So I'm working on um, the Women of the Mayflower. I am changing it because I'm not adding any of the, the names or the saying. I'm just going to be doing the scene. And um, this is stitched on 56 count parchment. So it's gonna be a cute little petite size. And this is what I have. I went ahead and put the, uh, the two guys in the boat over here. I am not putting the man standing in the water just cause I don't want to. Um, <laughs> And that poor guy gets talked about all the time. Hey, it's, it's okay. I mean, I understand um, people were saying that the reason why she did that is because of someone falling overboard and it represents him. And oh, that's why really? he's staying in the water. Oh. So, okay, that's that's great. I just still, I'm not going to add him. But I have to do all the, like, the ropes, you know, that kind of tie the sails to the boat. Um, I went ahead and stitched my bird in and I finished some of the back stitching on my birds. I wanted them to stand out a little bit more. I have some more birds to add over here and... But my water is finished and the guys are in there and we're good to go. So that's what I have so far on that. What I meant about the poor guy is he just keeps getting talked about being left out. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yes. He's left out, he's left out. <laughs> and, excuse me. Oh. The other thing that I was able to work on um, I got caught up with my um, Serendipity stitch along. So I finished the, what was it, the fifth release, I guess it was, that came out. Those colors really this... look perfect in here. Oh, yeah. Don't you do. know? They do. They do look good. Um, this is a stitch along through the Fat Quarter Shop, and it is a donation chart that benefits um, Make-A-Wish Foundation. And this is what I have so far. I chose my own colors, and... Um, it is stitched on 36 count, I'm pretty sure. Over two with one strand. Um, that was the <laughs> amount of my stitching that I got done. Oh, but I did want to tell you, um, when I mentioned that I chose some my own colors for the flea market <laughs> flowers, um, and then I let Liz know what my color changes were, <laughs> Of course I forgot one. <laughs> so, and it was so cute. You all pay attention so well because I was called on it. <laughs> Deb, didn't you change the blue though? So what did you substitute for? I'm thinking, did I? <laughs> yes, I did. And I even held it up in the packet and showed, yep. you know, that I took out the pinks and I took out the one bright blue. So I wanted to let you know what that blue was. It's 3808. Liz did the correction. And that is listed in video 129 in our description box. That's where all of the colors now are listed, including this last one that I forgot. So I went ahead and got my stitch along all ready to go. Um, my colors are, are on my beautiful thread card, which is also from I Fat Quarter that Shop. Card. It's so cute. And what I did was I just went ahead and put little labels that peel off easily on the back and wrote the numbers on for my colors. So when I'm finished with this one, I can just take these off and then, um, can I feel that on that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, use it for whatever I want. But I just want to show you real quick the colors that I'm using. So I, I took out all of the pinks cause you know me, I'm not really much of a pink person and took out that one really bright blue. So there's that. And this is the actual pattern so that if you are still on the fence and you want to get a hold of Fat Quarter Shop and order that, the stitch along starts in June. Um, there are a lot of pinks in there and it's beautiful. I just, I just don't do a lot of pinks, that's all. But it's a beautiful pattern, that'll be fun. And I am going to stitch it on a fabric that's called Prairie Grass. It's by Belfast and it's 32 count. And it looks like this. It does have a green, um, a green tint to it, but it's gonna look so cool with these colors. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to see how that looks. Prairie Grass. Prairie grass, yeah. I hadn't stitched on that before. It was something I had in my stash. Looks like I bought it at Salty Yarns. So if you're looking for prairie grass. I remember grass, when you found that. 
Oh yeah? Yes, because you brought it over and you said, look at this. I don't have anything I'm going to do with it yet, but look at this. And I remember thinking, you even find it when we're not using it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's so pretty. So if you're interested in Prairie Grass, uh, call Salty Yarns. <laughs> Hopefully we'll still have it. <laughs> oh gosh. But yes, that's the, uh, that's the most of, that's it. That's what I got done. Well, that's quite a bit. Well, Especially thanks. with everything else you got going on. <laughs> I, um, I have three things that I finished that you'll see in a little bit. Um, but Show off. I did start. I do actually feel like this is one class I'm attending that I'm current with because you're not <laughs> way ahead of me. <laughs> you just have to keep up with my reading. Um, Liz, did you do your homework? <laughs> I started my Lottie Da Francis. I did this just yesterday, I just Aww. had to have some time to put a couple stitches in. Yeah. So I threw a few in And that's in on this that one. awesome fabric. It is. This is that um, <laughs> fabric by um, Fabric Flare. Oh, okay. Uh, mountain fabric. Mountain fabric. Mountaineer fabric. I have it somewhere. I know. Um, and it is um, Woodland Halloween is the name of this particular fabric. Yeah. It's just gorgeous. But anyway, it came together real easy. I mean, I started with the heart because all the letters come in close to that. And then I just dropped down and started out okay. one of the legs. Cool. Because I could. That is going to be really, really cute. And you know what's interesting about this? It's very cool. I did not put twill on this hardwick hoop yet, but this broader one I know doesn't seem to need it to I don't hold wrap, attention yeah I don't need to wrap my um my wider one either okay yeah I wonder if that's just the nature of it I don't know but I I was really happy yeah. about that because I ran yeah. out of 12 <laughs> yeah and then I have this that I want to start soon but what I wanted to tell you about oh yes when you shared that this true. is that Brenda Gervais happy birthday America and I have the finishing kit um but I picked up this fabric. Ooh. Deb and I had looked at some I had in my stash. But when I got to the shop last week, I was talking to Pat about what they were going to use um, for the short, the shop model uh, for the top of it. Mm -hmm. And they are using a fabric by Access Commodities. It's called Champagne Cork. It's a legacy linen. Oh, it's pretty. It is very pretty. It's 35 count, and uh, the color is champagne. Hmm. The 35 count is the, the, the It kind of has that look of that raw. Mm -hmm. It does, doesn't it? Sort yeah. of a raw natural. Yeah. It's a little bit different fibers, though. It's a little softer, it, I think, than the, oh, okay. than the one that comes from Hobby Lobby. Okay. But not quite as dense, um, and it's 35 count. So cool. this goes really well against the um, against the decorative fabric that goes around the outside. So Very I think cool. that'll be a nice combination. Very cool. So um, if you're looking for something and you're doing this pattern, that's a good a good match. Nice. So that is what I worked on aside from what I finished. Yeah I was gonna say um, I do have something I wanted to talk about a little bit. Um, it's something that stitchers used to do quite a bit of. Um, it's not cross stitch, but it's a type of needlework called duplicate stitch. I'm sure you've seen it. Um, Craftsman Studios was at the retreat I was at. Um, it was the Spirit of Cross Stitch Festival, and they sold their goods there. All these different sweaters that have a 911 gauge to them in the knitting. Um, that's what you need in order to do it. At, I have seen it on other gauges, but that's the one that they sold. And they had several different patterns with designs. I liked that one because it looked relatively local Amish, sort of with the, mm -hmm. the buggies. Um, I did do one of these penguins for one of my granddaughters. <laughs> Look at those kids. <laughs> those cute. So cute. But these are just, the thing about it, it's very simple to do. Um, there was a time where you found patterns in the magazines that were done on duplicate stitch. In fact, when we were at 
Nordic Needle, and they gave us that uh, newspaper, the stitching newspaper. Do you remember the oh, issue? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was a yeah. newspaper that was done for stitchers. It only lasted maybe four or five quarters yeah. before it was discontinued, but in it, one of their patterns was a duplicate stitch right. pattern, and I remember thinking, I was surprised because I hadn't seen it in new pattern issues. This one was really cute with Santa and the reindeer. Oh, I like that one on the back. Yeah, he's pretty old yeah. time Santa. Chris Kringle. Pretty. And then they had one that was for the fall for pilgrims. And then this one, I really like that sweater. Wouldn't that be a great ugly sweater for ugly sweater? I contest? was going to say that. <laughs> I think it would. It would be awesome. It's got just about every basic stitching motif you can think of that has to do with Christmas. <laughs> and they're not complex. Um, but what you do when you're doing it, it's very much like a stitch that you use to needlepoint. You just follow the cable. So you come up from, from the center hole, you come up, you go around the back of the threads above it, and you come back down through the center hole. So you're just making a circle with each stitch that's already in the fabric. <laughs> And then this pattern was actually, my mom took this class from the uh, convention we were at, and she got this sweater. It was a cardigan. It was part of your, your kit. Aww. And then this was like a big floral spray that went down the one side of the cardigan, but she'd never done it. She took the class, put the notes on it, and didn't do it. And I said, when... When you decide you're not going to do that, I want that cardigan. Don't you get rid of that cardigan because mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. Next time I remember mentioning it to her, she said, Oh, I wore that thing so much I gave that to you. So you did not. <laughs> but this will give you an idea of how it works. It's very easy to do. You literally come out the stitch belief, little bit of <laughs> me your stitch that you're laying. You go up around the one above it and back down and you go to the next one. And you simply follow the pattern of the cable and the knitting that is on the sweater. But it's just, it's so different. Mm -hmm. And if you like to stitch little things for grandkids or um, young school age kids, they have some really clever patterns. So mm -hmm. <laughs> you can say you saw it here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Duplicate stitch. <laughs> yes, um, let's look at this week's stash box. Oh, yes. Um, all right. Molly's went out, so she'll be getting hers by the end of this week. Um, she got our last one. She was from Florida. Nice. This one has an abundance of fabric. Wow, there's all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah, and just the top two pieces of cork fabric. Um, it's linen, oh, 16 yeah. count. These are are like $13 worth of fabric nice right there. Colors. So there's, it's definitely worth the postage. There's a lot of sample. There was a time where these came in magazines. Um, they're samples of different fabrics. They'd be good for ornaments. Mm-hmm. Perfect for ornaments. So there's a, a large selection of small square different fabrics, linen, even weave, Ada, and then an absolute mix oh, wow. of the same different sizes. Some may have a little stitching on it that you can take out. Um, might have been something I was thinking I was going to do oh. and didn't. So, and then at the very bottom, after you get past the bigger pieces of linen My and goodness. even weave, different colors, um, is an afghan. Nice. So. That you can stitch on. You can. It's absolutely wonderful to stitch on. It's a rayon. Okay. So it cleans nicely. Wow. So that's the fabric. Wow. And then I'm also adding um, a penny rug kit. From Luminaire, Luminaire, Luminaries, Luminaire, I never know how to pronounce that. Luminaris, I think yeah. it is. Um, but this is a needle book. There's actually enough fabric and mm. emblems in here, I think, to do two needle books. Nice. So, yeah, it's a lot of fabric. So if you're interested, stash box, two words, mm -hmm. and this will Please be, be the a subscriber. Time. Next one going out. Nice. Cool. Box one down. Yep. We have one going down. More sort of ongoing whoops, giveaway that we do, um, which is the spring page turner. And got it. I'm going to <laughs> suggest, since we're almost at the end of spring, 
that um, we do three of these this week. So if you're interested, okay, put spring in the comment section and you can have a copy of Molly Makes Feathered Friends. <laughs> and it's just, it's just got a variety of different needlework uh, patterns and ideas for this time of year. And it's a fun book. Cool. All right. We have some of our giveaways from last video that I think we could go over right now, if that's okay. Yep. Um, so, Okay. Our names, and I'll, if you want to read off the names, I'll hold them up. All righty. Sound okay? You betcha. All right, what are we starting with? Let's start with um, last week's books. Okay, oh, yeah. Okay, Liz just held those up. <laughs> <laughs> so, if, if uh, you put spring in last week's comments or last videos, um, the two that are going out are to Tara Cox and Nancy Noonenkamp. Okay. So, uh, just put your email address um, or email us uh, with your address, that's a better way to put it, uh, to either Deb or I, they're in the description box. So you can find our email addresses there. Okay, you don't want them to just go to me? Um, oh, yeah, you could take yeah, the books sometimes with you. Like it's, yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, good. All right, and? Then we have Fresh Cut. Fresh Cut, okay. That was this one. And that quarter shop. And that is going to Christina May. Okay. And how about Peppermint? Peppermint. Okay. That's going to Shikla Blount. Okay. And Quilt. Okay. We have two people receiving the quilt patterns. One is Denise underscore Marie underscore Anne, all lowercase. Mm -hmm. And the other winner is Tony Walker. Okay. And one more. And that is the package. Package. And that is going to Debbie Bratzman. Okay, congratulations to everyone. Yes. Thank you, Fat Quarter Shop, for um, blessing us with those giveaways. Yes. And uh, like Liz said, get a hold of me, uh, the Eshelman um, address in our description box, and I will get those out to you. All right. If you want to do those uh, other pattern packages for. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yes. All right. So. A continuation of the craft room setup. Yes. Giveaways <laughs> for next time. Um, let's see here. We have some um, charts that have to do with music. And they're really cool. The first one is by Stony Creek. It's um, stitching to the music. So you get some different charts in here. And along with that, two ink circles patterns. One's called First Bass. Base. Sorry. I'm thinking fish. <laughs> she, has, she has sportsmen in her family. Yeah. Um, and another ink circles, here comes treble. <laughs> or trouble. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you're interested in these three charts, how about the, oh, and plus, along with that, you're going to get, um, what did you call it? Bread Bread cloth? cover. Bread cloth. Bread, Bread cover. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, so this, it's by... Are they all by Charles Craft? Um, I believe so. Okay. All right. Um, so if you're interested in that, how about the word music? Mm -hmm. uh, is a keyword for those charts and that bread cloth. And this is a really beautiful pattern by Stacy Nash. Um, it's a sewing pocket. Really pretty. That's what it looks like. And if you're interested in this, how about using the word primitive? And I think if you actually lay the pattern out, you can stitch just the sampler. It's like nine by oh, 11. Cool. Uh, or you can fold it like that and make it into the pocket. So. Nice. And, and bread cloth will go with that also. <laughs> I can you can tell she didn't make a lot of those back then. I, I didn't make any of those. <laughs> I honestly don't know for sure that you can still get them. Um, we, we often well, have cool. people coming into Stitches Unlimited looking for them. And ah. when I found those in my stash, I thought we should pass those on. Yeah, that's great. And then the last giveaway will be um, a Prairie Schooler Santa. I think it is the 1985 Santa. And the Ebenezer's Christmas, the Erica Michaels pattern. Liz is actually stitching this on. I'm doing the strawberry. On yeah, gauze. gauze. Yep. That's what it is. Yeah. And then I also yep. have the sampler. Yes. 
And along with that, a Stony Creek pattern. Um, this is for uh, perforated paper. And since they're all Christmas related, how about, did we put down the word Christmas? I think so. All right. So your keyword for these, Christmas. And you'll also get bread cloth <laughs> to go with that. <laughs> So you have some keywords there. <laughs> if you can say them. If you can say them. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right. I will show what I stitched and finished, actually. All right. Actually finished. Um, this one was just, I had to just because it was fun. That's so cute. I, I, did I actually even get to show that yet? I don't know. I can't remember I'm if I had sure. that and got to share it with you or if I picked that up that between the last cute. time I saw it. But I thought, oh, this is so fitting. Aww. So I stitched it, and I, I haven't decided yet what color thread I want to hang off oh of this needle. Oh, my gosh. But I did like actually cute. put a large 24-gauge needle under him instead of oh, yeah. stitching the needle. Yeah. And then I'm just going to hang the thread off of that needle. Oh, my gosh. That is too cute. It was so fast. I mean, it, there's nothing to it, but it was just... That's so cute. I like the fabric you put it on, too. What I can't decide... Cute. is how to finish it do i want to put it on the wall in a frame or do i want to do something fun with it like it could just sit there and stare at me while i'm <laughs> stitching <laughs> that was too cute so Aww. that was fun and then um oh this is with with thy needle uh-huh oh. yeah i know it does it just doesn't, it doesn't seem remind? like that would no. come from her does it uh -uh. that's why when i went what brenda wow. did that that's so fun wow cool the frog was so fun yeah it was just so cute this is like three colors um, oh, yeah, you got that finished. I did. Nice. And maybe next time I'll actually have it put in its little stand for you to see. But this was the Summer Posy. And cool. I think that was the top. And that's done. Cute. So that was fun. That was very quick. Um, I'm going to start the winter one next. Deb and I were actually talking about oh, this. Oh, yeah, that's Which beautiful. one to start next? I, I think like I'm that do one. The winter yeah, one. that's really pretty. And then this little guy, I finished him. I picked this up at Salty. I was like, maybe one of the first retreats we did down there. And I believe it was when actually Chessie and me was the class. Oh, one of the okay. classes we took, the Halloween yes. one, remember? Yes. And I picked this up at their trunk show. Cute. And then Aww. I stitched it. I think oh. I might make it into a little pin cushion. Yeah, I like the little whiskers. I'm trying to decide. You know the little wooden table has a excuse me, a round top on it. You saw it once with me at Stitches Unlimited. They put that squirrel on the top. Do you remember that? And it was like a little pin cushion, but it looked like a little wooden table. Mm. And you could stick your pins in it. Have it like a pedestal underneath of it? The three legs. Oh, made. oh, oh, yes. You remember that? Yes. And yes. you were thinking about doing yep. something with that mm -hmm. table for an exchange. Mm -hmm. Well, I was wondering, do you think that would look cute on that little table? It might. It's the right size. I just haven't decided if that's how I want to put it together. Take it in there and kind of like lay it on there. Yeah. Well, I have the table. Oh. <laughs> I bought one of the tables when I saw it. I just haven't done anything with it yet. <laughs> oh, damn. Come on. I don't even have it up here. I'm not sure oh where I have gosh. it right this minute, but I do have the okay. little guy Well, somewhere. problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to see what it looks like. But that's what's on my mind. Maybe do it that way. So. <laughs> how well, silly I have of the table. you. <laughs> Why would down? I think you wouldn't? I don't know. <laughs> Gadgets and finishes I got. Stitching, yeah. not so much. <laughs> hey, you got a lot done. I did. I That's did great. actually. That's great. It didn't amount to a lot of time, but it just happened to be days that I had good days where I could actually be focused and get it yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't interrupted a lot, so. Yeah, because I'm going to be slacking for a while, so you got to <laughs> pick up the pace. <laughs> oh, the pressure. <laughs> Under pressure. The pressure of a stitch. All right. So that was our subscriber tribute, Bill. Um, so we have more giveaways. <laughs> um, yes. We would like to say a special thank you to everyone who subscribes. Um, and today we want to announce two specific subscribers. First one is Kay Christman. Um, you will be getting a Queen Anne Hill um, pattern by Debbie Patrick. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Yes. There are people who just love and to stitch houses. Hopefully you like houses because then you will also get Shakespeare's birthplace, which I think this is really cool. That's neat looking. And thank you so much for being a subscriber. Again, get a hold of me um, 
and send me your address and I will get that out to you. And the next subscriber we wanna say a special thank you to is Allison Jen Vern, wait. Jarvin. Ja Jarvin? Jan oh. Vern. J-A-N-V-R-I-N. Yes, Jan Vern. I'm sorry. Okay. I Alice. couldn't remember what I did um, You'll be getting a drawn thread pattern. It's called Tannenbaum Topiary. Very cute. And to go with that, this is funny, the library cat. And it comes with the uh, pumpkin charm. Cute. Isn't that cute? Mm-hmm. So thank you very much for hitting that subscribe button. Yes. Yes, that, they're cool. All right. That's a pretty little bell pull, isn't uh, it? Isn't it? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And thank you to those of you who um, bless us with uh, things to pass on to our subscribers. Yes. Thank you. All right. Oh, what do you have? Get out of town. When did you get this? Gadgets. I just saw this. This what? is our gadget. I'm sorry. You're I just love a it. Late. <laughs> Oh I was gosh. busy over the last <laughs> two weeks. I was busy watching you floss tube and YouTube, and I was busy shopping. I was just gonna say I saw this. Nicola had this on hers. She did have it on hers. Yes. yes. And oh my gosh, they are called spool pods. That is awesome. And they're fantastic. They are from the UK. Wow. They come from overseas. And I'm gonna show you what they look like when you uh, fill them up with your salty that threads. That is too cool. Isn't that awesome? Yes. And it's so soft, you slip it right in your project bag. And I had totally forgotten that I bought the sulkies that also go for the um, chocolate bunnies pattern. Oh, really? I Did I not show them? I must not have shown those either. Those colors are beautiful. Aren't these pretty? Now, I gave you a selection of them, remember, of the sulky threads not yeah. long ago? Yeah, like um, these kind. Yeah, yeah. some uh, mm -hmm. like s some standard... Yeah. Um, that you could wow. use in your uh, samplers, oh I think. Oh my gosh. And then These I are so cool. A couple more. So you can put yours in there. Oh, thanks. Look, that is so Isn't cute. It, neat? it just rolls up. Yeah. And the nice and thing. They really fit nicely in there. They do. And the other thing I look, like look, about these out. is that you can put a bobbin in too. I noticed that a lot of the thread that they were showing um, when they showed it on Nicola's, and then when I went to the site, it has enough space to hold a bobbin. So if you're using sulkies for sewing on a machine, oh. or you're using that Gunterman, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, I'm not a seamstress, Good but there's idea. another thread that comes on a spool like this, and then you can stick your bobbins in with it. Good idea. Yeah, it's really cool. These are so sweet. And I was really surprised at how quickly they arrived. I mean, because I only, saw these a week ago. So how many come in a thing? I bought just bought five. Um, I don't know. Oh. I'm not sure. I can't remember if you buy you buy them individually. Oh, okay. And then they okay. just package them. Gotcha. This way. Okay. That is so cool. And you can just like stack them on top of each other too. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Isn't that neat? Yeah, I just love it. Silicone, I'll tell you. When when they first came out with silicone, I oh couldn't gosh, think of anything you. you would use it for. So cool. <laughs> and they're coming up with all kinds of things to do with silicone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is an awesome gadget. I love it. I'm so, so glad you got that. I will link that in the description box and you can check it out. Very cool. And especially if you have a nice selection. I have yeah. a box that's made by Sulky to put my Sulky threads in, but this way I can keep them together with my project and I don't have to worry about having them You know what, uh, roll what else would fit in here? The Aura fill. The yes. Aura floss? That yes. would fit in here too. It would. Same size spool. Very cool. Or like some of your silks. Mm-hmm. I'm not Any sure. of our silks come on um, the spools might yeah. be a little bit bigger. Oh, really? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm, oh, you're talking about the tray but, bond, the the spun silks that are from Access Commodities. Yes, they would fit in there. The very, very cool. spun silk, yes, that comes on the spools. Okay, very cool. Yeah, they're really sweet. Love that. So, all in all, we had a pretty <laughs> pretty good day. <laughs> You take your haul home with you. I didn't think I got anything, but thank you. <laughs> you were so busy you didn't even oh notice. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, I love it. Thank you. And we're going to take a break while we have a wedding. Yeah, you won't see me again till. Oh my gosh, my daughter get married. Oh my gosh. I know, that's a hard one, isn't it? I remember when Carrie got married. Oh, I'm going to be a mess. I mean, in a good way. Yeah. But I know as soon as I see her and Matt, 
mm -hmm. I'll just lose it. Yep. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you this. It's so cute. She, McKenna is a very detail oriented person. She's so sweet. And she did the coolest thing for um, Matt and for Connor, her husband to be, and her father-in-law. They're all wearing the same tie. And on the back of the men's tie at the very bottom, you know, like where it comes to the point and there's um, an area there where she ordered these hearts that you can iron on and you can have anything printed on them that you wanted. So she got one for her dad that talked about him being the first, um, the first man that she ever loved. And just, you know, she personalized it and said, love grace because Matt never calls her McKenna. He has always called her grace. It is not her middle name. It's a nickname. <laughs> it's cause she's so graceful. Yeah. Not <laughs> except when she dances, she's beautiful. She's a beautiful she dancer, but then she'll come home and trip up the stairs. So uh, he has always called her grace. Um, but we ironed on these little hearts and then for like her father in law, um, she, it says something like, thank you for raising the man of my dreams. Um, and then she has something for Connor, but it's just so sweet that yep. these hearts are on the back of the ties and the guys don't know it. They haven't seen it. So it's, it's just going to be so nice. And, um, but I know as soon as Matt, like that first look, he hasn't seen her in her dress. She wants that to have like a first look. Good. And I know that that's when I'll lose it. You know, yep. it'll be like, ah, forget it. Deb's done. Yep. Yep. <laughs> minute, so. I, I would think the minute she shows up at the back of the procession and you turn around and see her coming down. Oh, I, that forget would be it. it for me. I'll be gone. You better make sure you have extra tissues for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. I remember I was 13 when my older sister got married. Mm. And no, 12. That's right. I turned 13 when, when Jenny was born. So I was 12 when she got married. And she had Jenny 11 months after they got Aww. married. And um, I remember watching mom go through the pre-wedding thing because my sister lived in Arizona. The wedding was in Arkansas. Ooh. So she was in college and mom was setting all the things up. And I remember mm -hmm. watching my mother pull her hair out for months to get this all set up. And one of the things my sister, I think it was Mickey that found them. It was a set of business cards and you, it's similar to the idea of the tie, oh, okay. but you printed up things that you wanted to be able to share. Well, she got my dad this box of business cards and it said, I'm the father of the bride. Oh. I won't be noticed today. Oh. Nobody's going to know who I am, but I'm the one. And it had this beautiful oh. little saying about how he was, you know, thinking about his daughter and mm -hmm. but he was going to get over it. And it was just, it was kind of a tongue in cheek, but really, really sweet yeah. at the same time. Yeah. And I remember her giving those to him and telling him he had to hand them out at yeah. the wedding. <laughs> and he did. He passed them out. It was cute. There's also another sweet thing that she'll do. Um, when my mom was passing away, a friend, a dear friend had given her this, did I already tell this story? I don't know if I did, but gave her this um, little silver cross. And my mom always just had it in her hands. And so when she passed away, you know, I had it. And when I got married, um, our minister had it in his pocket. And then when my brother got married, the minister had it in his pocket. And so now when McKenna and Connor get married, he'll have it in his pocket. Neat. Yeah, and that's something that we can kind of keep yeah. doing. Yeah, so. Yep, lots of, oh my gosh. <laughs> Next time we see you, you'll have another son. I know. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh wow. Yes. But we are all ready for it to be here. Ready. Ready, ready, ready. Oh yeah. Ready. Yep. And I'm just hoping that at the beginning of the rehearsal dinner, your hat changes and you get to be part of what's going on and not running it anymore. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That you can make that change Maybe really by the easy. end of <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that that day I'm off duty. That's what. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Absolutely. I'm, but you think you're going to be? <laughs> you don't think you'll be able to kick back at the dinner and? No. 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 I mean, you know, everything will be still like you know figuring out all the everything, and then we're having rehearsal dinner where the wedding is, so everything's got to be cleaned up, so that the next day everything's good to go, and okay. I'm sure it'll all you know it'll all work out. Yeah. Um, but I'm just hoping that that day is just uh you know. I'm along for the ride. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I have off the Wednesday before. And so, you know, we have things, we're going to go that Wednesday and get our nails done and, and our toes done and <laughs> go out to lunch. And, um, and then Thursday we'll be busy over there and Friday, just all setting up and just managing everything. So it'll go fast. I'm oh, sure yeah. it'll be like, it's here 
and oh my gosh, did that just happen? Mm -hmm. I know that's how to feel. Yeah. But, um, gosh, uh, I can remember when she had her 16th birthday. Party. I know. I know. I can't believe how much time has gone by since Me then. Me neither. It goes so fast. <laughs> so, yes, we'll be talking. It'll be after the fact. I can't believe it. Next time I see you, well, I mean, I don't see you, but <laughs> next time you see me. <laughs> next time we visit. <laughs> I won't be talking about the upcoming wedding. It'll be, oh, this is how it happened. It's, so oh actually, gosh. what we should do is put together a montage of the wedding pictures. And oh, can you do that? Like, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? If I can get it together. Between it only took me two days to figure out how to put these up here. <laughs> If we get the wedding ones, then we can put those up. <laughs> yeah. That'd yeah. be fun. I mean, I'll be able to show you some on my phone. I don't know how quickly I can get that All from it, the photographer. and. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Oh, like, I'm just saying, when you finally have them, yeah, yeah, we yeah, can yeah. do that, okay. and then people will be able to see it okay. as we talk about our new work. Okay. All right. Cool. Yes. And we might have another something to talk about upcoming, also on our next video. Yes. <sighs> yes. All kinds we have of good stuff. surprises, and we also have a couple of products coming up that we're going to share with you. Mm -hmm. Um and we want to remind you as we conclude today to remember that you are offered that nice um code through mm -hmm. our description box for mm -hmm. stella yep. and um it'll get you a 50 dollar discount yep. off of the purchase of one of these lamps yep yep until the 31st all right um i was going to say something and now i forgot what it was, I was going to say. you were talking about oh well another surprise and then I said about other products we were going to be looking at in the mm. future and I don't know I guess it wasn't important <laughs> if it's like every other time we'll either look down forget something that was sitting on the floor in front of us as soon as we turn this off I'm yes like, that's what happens it was. every time every time <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with us again yes um, enjoy your upcoming couple of weeks and yes. we'll be back with you soon yes as always share, share the joy, joy of needlework. needlework see ya bye-bye